basically Lush is like the home for misfit unicorns in my mind. Like you can be any kind of fabulous and you are going to be welcomed into work at Lush. Hey guys, it's Jordan. Welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new here, please make sure to hit the subscribe button underneath if you wanted to join the Sparkly Fam, and don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you don't miss another video. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up at the end. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below, and let's hop right into it. So in today's video, I wanted to do a full-length video of what it is like to work at Lush. So before we jump into this video, there are so, so, so many different positions that you can work for at Lush. I no longer work at Lush, but my last day was yesterday, so it is very, very fresh in my mind, and I can tell you guys exactly what it's like to work at Lush, what the hiring process is like, how you'll be treated as an employee, and um, just some of the perks and stuff like that, some of the negatives if there are any, and uh, yeah, so that's going to be what's going to be going on in this video. If you're interested in some of that, then make sure to stay tuned. So, first of all, I want to talk about how I found the job listing, because that is the very, very first thing, and where I was applying to work at Lush, those kinds of things. Now, this video is going to be useful if you are applying for any kind of position within Lush, whether you want to work in retail, at the warehouse, in administration, anything like that. So, without further ado, here it is. <clears throat> so, I've been interested in working at Lush since the first time I went to West Edmonton Mall. I believe I was 12 years old. Maybe it wasn't the first time, but it was the first time I went to West Edmonton Mall after I'd moved back to Alberta. And so, I was like 12 years old, and I was walking through the mall, and I was like, wow, what's that smell? Because the smell of Lush, especially back in the day, like old school Lush, was so, so potent that you could smell it through like the entire mall. So. I walked into the Lush, and they used to have coffee beans. I don't remember if they still do this. They probably do, but they used to have coffee beans in the actual shop, and you would just go, and you could, like, smell and test products, and then they would, like, give you coffee beans, and then the coffee beans, what you do is you smell the coffee beans, and it's to clear your sinuses to, like, refresh you so that you have a fresh palate before you start, like, trying another product. So that was at, like, 12 years old that I found that first Lush, first Lush store, and all of the soap products, the way that they were presented on um, basically just like a fresh full tray of soap, fresh out of a pan, freshly made, and it reminded me of going to like uh, fudge shops as a kid, which was like my favorite thing when I was little. I used to spend all of my money, literally all of my allowance, all the time on fudge as a kid, just because I thought it was so neat that you could go in, look at all of them, and select like which one you wanted. So when I saw that Lush was like that, but with like handcrafted, specially made soaps, then I was like, oh, this is so cute. And it just seemed like a really down-to-earth kind of great vibe, and that's what I was interested in. So that was only 12 years old that I was first interested in working at Lush. Now, flash forward to this year. It was in August, and I was looking for a job, and when I went online, I saw that they had job boards for Lush, and that they were hiring for seasonal production assistants. And when I mentioned it to any of my friends that I even saw this Lush ad, everybody's like, oh my god, you have to apply. It was the best company to work for ever. Basically, for a seasonal production job, I was not applying to work in the actual Lush retail stores where you sell the products, but I was applying to work in one of the warehouses here in Vancouver, and I was interested in creating the products or being somewhere along the lines on the manufacturing, basically. So when I applied for the job, I wasn't applying for a specific position, although you can apply for very specific positions, but at the time they were just doing like a giant hiring process and they were hiring a bunch of seasonal production assistants, they were hiring people to go work in bubbles, they were hiring people to go work in distro, and basically all of the different um, areas that you can work in in Lush, they were hiring for all of that, so they were having giant hiring fairs. and. They invited me to come in after I applied to have a culture hour, and what a culture hour is, is you come in to, for me, I came into the warehouse, there was a group of us, there was I believe seven of us, and they said to allot an hour out of our day so that we could do this culture hour. And basically a hiring coordinator, coordinator came in, his name was Matt, he was super friendly, and a human resources lady named Yodira came in as well, and they just talked about what we were about to do, they gave us some paperwork, 
I believe we might have just like one paper to sign that day. And then we went in, had our culture hour, and basically what our culture hour was, was a little walk through, going through the factory and seeing what the warehouse was like. And then they brought us to some tables in the back, and just super easy, they had us build like these pink boxes from, you get like a box and it'll be flat, and a flat piece of cardboard, and you just assemble it into a box and then products will go in it, but basically we just assembled the box and then we put it on a piece of Christmas paper and we wrapped the box and it was just super simple and they just wanted to see like if you're a hands-on learner, like how quickly you learn and things like that and it was very friendly, it was very welcoming, they were very encouraging and nice and it was just like a very good environment. Everybody that was working at Lush on the line was like saying hello and welcoming us in and that's just for the culture hour, that's basically your interview at Lush. So that was for me. It might be a bit different if you work in retail, you might have a private interview at the retail location, things like that, but if you're applying for something seasonal in the production end of things, that's how it might go for you. And so that was my culture hour. It didn't end up going for a full hour. It was just short of an hour, but yeah, that was the culture hour. And then I was invited to orientation. And so orientation took place at a Cineplex theater uh, basically, they had everybody come in, and then we were sitting in a Cineplex Theatre auditorium, and they talked us through uh, what it's going to be like to work at Lush, what are the policies, what Lush stands for, and they were basically just saying how Lush stands for um, keeping bright, clean environments, and making sure to protect the environment, and not destroy the environment while we create products, and that everything can be renewable, and that their products are going to all be vegetarian, at least most, most, most products are vegan, but there are a couple products that are just vegetarian. Um, they talk about their initiatives to save the planet, to clean up the planet. They talk about, uh, they're, like Lush is a huge, huge company on reducing, reusing, renewing, recycling. They are definitely a leader in my mind on that front. So that was a big, big pushing point that made me fall in love with Lush instantly at my orientation. But also the people that were doing my orientation, the orientation leaders, were so confident and so encouraging. And you could just tell that they loved their jobs as well. And they were just telling us about how great it was to work at Lush. But that orientation day was a six-hour day, I believe. So it was almost a full day. And we went through so much on that day about just a lot of the things that can happen if you if you work for Lush, like you can literally travel the world on some of their teams, just trying to make the world a better place. Like literally, there's you forget that there's even work involved while you're at that orientation because there's just so many good things that Lush does for the world and for their company and just for their customers and for everyone. So that definitely um, set in my mind that this is an amazing company to work for. And from there on, I started my first day as a production assistant. I came in, and basically they welcomed us in. Um, we kind of met who everybody was that works on the floor, because there's people that work in the warehouse all year long, and then there's, a, then there's the seasonal people that only come in for the Christmas season. And we're basically like Santa's elves. We box gifts, we package gifts, we wrap gifts, we ribbon gifts, we send them out to be delivered to the stores and stuff like that, and that was my job. In other departments, you may like make the soaps, like you may physically make the bath bombs, you may be in charge of preparing ribbons and stuff like that so that we can package the gifts. In other departments, you put away all of like in shipping receiving, you might put away all of the boxes and everything that we've packaged so that they can be sent to the stores, or you might work in retail where you actually sell the products to the customers. and stuff like that, or you might work in administration, you could work higher up in Lush in offices where you basically plan out everything that is going to happen in the warehouse and how things are going to run smoothly in the different facets of Lush all throughout the entire pyramid. So that was the hiring process and stuff like that. And then working at Lush, I had a full 40 hour week. We got two 15 minute breaks in a day and a half an hour break. It was pretty standard. Um, you literally could miss work for any reason if you needed to, like if you were sick, if you had something exciting going on and you just didn't want to be there, like it was literally the most flexible job I have ever had in my entire life. I had no idea going in, like I've never had a job like that in my entire life, you guys, so I wouldn't like take advantage of that or abuse that if you were going to work at Lush, but literally I just wanted to say they're the most like compromising company and they are the most hospitable, like they really care for their employees and they really want you to put your desires and your needs first and to come to work when you're able to bring 
everything to the table. So if you're just feeling under the weather, you need a day to yourself, or you're having like an emotional crisis and you need to leave for two weeks, literally you can do that and Lush will be forgiving and they will let you come back. So in that sense, they are a very, very amazing and flexible company. Um, also, in terms of diversity, they're the most diverse company that I've ever worked for. Many companies say that they're super accepting and that they are ethnoculturally diverse and that they don't see gender or race or any of those things, but then when it comes to the hiring process, like, you'll see jobs where they only hire girls or they only hire men and things like that. So they say that in their policies, but it's not really true. You can be literally absolutely anyone from any walk of life and you walk into the doors at Lush and you will be accepted like family. Basically Lush is like the home for misfit unicorns in my mind. Like you can be any kind of fabulous and you are going to be welcomed into work at Lush. So. There are people from every walk of life, they are really supportive of everybody from any walk of life, and you should definitely feel comfortable and supported to go work with that company. And the work itself, they hire people all the time to come in to see what's going on in the factories and how the work is being done and within the retail outlets and all those things and how things can be made better. So even working on an assembly line, they do everything that they can to make sure that the employees are happy and satisfied at all times. They make sure that they are doing things to take care of our health and our bodies and that that's the utmost priority. And like we do a full stretch, a full physical warm up before we start our shifts working as production assistants. Where else do they do that? I've never heard of that before, to be honest. We switch between stations all throughout the day. If you ever get tired of like wrapping a gift, you can go pack gifts instead, or you can go ribbon gifts instead. You don't have to stay there and do something tedious all day long like you might think that it would be like. So in that sense, it is also amazing. And then there are the perks, like they cover, um, <clears throat> they'll give you a rebate on your steel toed boots if you're working in the warehouse. So you literally will buy your steel toed boots, you give them a receipt, they'll give you all the money back. You are, you want, if you take public transportation, they are all for that because that is good on the environment. So they support that and they will literally pay so that you can have your compass card, like in Vancouver it's a compass card, but they will pay so that you get your money back for your public transportation. So there's the public transportation benefit, that is awesome if you need like boots for your job, they will give you a rebate for that so you're not losing any money out of pocket. And so, like, you can drive, there's parking and stuff for people that work at Lush, but if you are going to take public transportation, they will give you a rebate because they would like to support that you do things that are great for the environment. Or, if not, then carpool, kind of things like that. And, um, they, the free stuff, that is another perk. You get free stuff all the time, all the time, all the time. I was always getting free bath bombs, free products that we would be packaging. Um, a lot of the time, things that we weren't packaging either, just free gifts that they would just randomly give us randomly because they're like, here, have some gifts. Or we got to have like tins of products to go home and they'd be like, you can share this on your social media if you want or just not if you don't want. Or we got staff boxes or I got like a big Christmas staff box leaving Lush, and then I got another gift yesterday from Lush that you can, you can see all those unboxings, they're all on my channel from like a whole bunch of gifts that I've got from Lush, and I can't even like begin, like, we're talking like, I have boxes full of products from Lush that were just free, and on top of that, when you work at Lush, you get a discount, a 50% discount in the stores, so that's a huge discount, and it doesn't matter where you work within Lush, you get that discount to use at any of the stores for anything that you want. And, um, oh yeah, there's also, like, free coffee, there was free food and stuff like that. There was always, like, free stuff in the staff room for us. Um, but yeah, I guess that is about all for this video. I don't really know what else to tell you guys, other than, like, it is a super awesome company. They are super flexible, they are super compromising, and they're just overall great to their employees. Um, they will make you feel very welcomed, they will give you lots of perks and benefits, and I literally can't think of any, like, negatives to working at Lush, to be completely honest. They pay you fairly and stuff like that as well. The only negative for me, personally, is that I live in North Vancouver and the Lush factory was way out in Richmond, so I had to travel, like, a really long commute every single day. But there are, like, retail stores and stuff like that that are much closer if I want to go work in retail, but 
that was the only real negative for me. That was more of like a personal thing. It had nothing to do with Lush as a company, and they were literally paying for my public transportation, so I cannot complain. But that uh, basically wraps it up for this video. If you have any other questions about what it's like to work at Lush in any of the different departments or anything like that, you can pop them in the comments below, and I will try my best to answer all of those questions. And uh, I guess that's it for this video, so as always, make sure to be weird, be wild, and stay sparkly, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, and you can let me know in the comments if there's any other videos you would like to see. Okay, bye guys.